hello friends welcome in this video tutorial what we're going to see uh, we're going to print a table of the files okay so let's get started so how are we going to do this I'm going to create a new file and I will say that dot HTML okay exclamatory mark and press enter I'm going to add script tag so adding script tag over here and here I'm create a function function and tab is my name of the function parenthesis curly braces and inside I would say uh, let j equal to 5 because I'm going to print a table of the 5 okay four just regular our uh, for loop so let i equal to 1 i is less than or equal to 10 i plus plus document dot write and inside I'm going to use a backticks Five times, or I would say, yeah, five times, and here dollar sign, and I can specify I is. And here, dollar sign, and I would say J times I break. So I declared the already uh, the variable five because I'm going to print a table of five. So loop we know it will run one to ten, but inside. Uh, what I'm doing I'm, I'm going to multiply J which is our file times I so even if you don't specify here J and instead if you can write also five over here right but why I did let's say if tomorrow you want to print a table of 15 right so you have to you know change it here it's uh, instead we can uh, just specify J here we can just change here okay that's the reason I did it and I'm going to call that function tab and I'm going to show you uh, what I mean I mean it, if it doesn't make sense right now <coughs> so I'm going to use uh, my live server and right there 5 times 1 is equal to 5 5 times 2 is equal to 10 15 20 25 and so forth okay let's say we, if we want to print a table of 10 what we're going to do it's very easy just simply just change it here okay it's 10 and there we go did I say 10 or here we can do dollar sign and J how about that so we don't have to change every time right so 10 times 1 10 10 times 2 20 so that's what I mean so let's say now 2 right so I don't have to change here as well as here right so that's why I just specify one and I'm I'm just changing the value over here that's like makes my life so easy so now two times one is two two times you know two is four whatever and if I want to print three then that's it just change it here and three times one to three and okay so that's how you're going to do and if you want me to do so I'm giving you uh, one assignment so in a previous uh, some of the video we did with the while loop okay so same thing same result you can produce with the while loop so please do it with the while loop so that's going to be your practice so that's what you're going to do uh, so hope you like it in the next video we're going to see about um, how to do a sum okay so that's what we're going to do in next video so bye bye